Hello there everyone and welcome and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Captain Redux which we're playing as the Sultan of Somalia because why not? But united we stand. The multiple states of Somalia were preyed upon by colonists and in the eyes of the international community were seen as weak. We had fallen divided with brother against brother, but after Abdullah Hassan's astounding victories over the Italians during the Valkyrie, Italy completely withdrawn from Somalia and the Sultan of Warsangali had in all but name slipped from British control as they were preoccupied with the fighting of the Germans. The peace with honor officially concluding the great uh, Valkyrie. Paradoxically, made Somalia free while retaining a protector of Britain due to the Ali Shires or Shari's treaties. The status quo, which had been benefited both parties, did not last for long, however, as the British Empire collapsed in the moment of what some may call opportunism. What is Sengali's support to see what was left of British Somalia land, and the Lord Allied to proclaimed him Bogar, or Emperor of Somalia. However, he had to style himself as King of Somalia in the West as a way to court the monarchs of the central powers while recognizing the ultimate authority of the Caliph. Prosperity followed it for Somalia, with the fields growing rich and our cities larger. In addition, we managed to secure control over Agadem. In spite of the opposition from Ethiopia, our roads, books, and universities are all symptoms of this event which endowed the Somali Renaissance. But great danger may lie ahead or unwise understand the good times cannot be maintained indefinitely. Hail Selassie eyes the great nation enviously, and Middle Africa's new Shahat remains diplomatically unapproachable. Whatever the future may hold, we can content, sick contempt with the fact that we seize every possible opportunity present to, to us, and together is one leading Somalia to a better and brighter future. We stand on the shoulder of giants, and we strengthen our government. Well, the prosperity and development of Somalia has been astounding, Ali Shari has made sure to let a following uh, to follow a let sleeping dog's lie policy in terms of politics. Meanwhile, Somalis had rejoiced, basking in their freedom, unquestionably loyal, unquestionably of the pri primacy of Laskari. However, news of administrative reform in Ethiopia and Egypt convinced the Bogor that reforms are indeed required, economic development. Where population is indeed grown prosperous, we need to make sure that this prosperity is not something that will pass by developing the economy into industrial one. Our valued partners in the port and the Berlin will help us with this endeavor. Also, I have no idea what we're doing in Somalia. I decided I saw on Kazuridex, like, oh, there's an expansion for Somalia. Let's see what it's like. So that's why we're here. Checking things out, and things are going to collapse. Yay! Black Monday has reached Somalia. Yay! Uh, even though Black Monday has done minimal damage to Somalia, especially when compared to the nations of Europe, uh, we've still been hit by the economic crisis. Our value uh, trading partners are no longer willing to trade, and our people are going, growing discontent. Worried about the, what the future may hold. If we don't act quickly to remedy the situation, the new attitude has about and may make the economic dirt on all of a sudden. Uh oh! I ain't touching that. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Um, so do economic development, deal with the black money ripples. Yeah, that probably would be good. But peace politics. Ooh. Population basic infrastructure will. We'll probably have to deal with the Black Monday ripples. Despite not suffering poorly the effects of the Black Monday, as the nation's within the German economics orbit, Somalia is still facing a major economic downturn. It's not that allowed to happen, we must take action as soon as possible. Somali Gandamariga. Intending orders been traditionally trusted to the local militias. The chief of each militia was entrusted with looking after the people. However, in order to be better ensure peace and prosperity in the empire, he was offered a force of men who were capable of containing riots, protests, riots, revolts, and crimes. This new force will be known as the Somali Gandharma Liga, based on their own Western counterparts. Basic infrastructure effort. A nation as young as Somalia will always need to invest investments linking provinces and regions, especially if we're truly modernized. Uh, we might want to spend that political power before it's too late, if possible, 100 Gs. Because um, we only get 0.73 every single month, we'll see. Uh, political peace. Much of the government still re retains something of a provisional air, damaging its legitimacy and power. We must strive towards uniting and consolidating our alliances with both clan leaders and intellectuals within Somalia. So we'll see what happens with, it, with, with which route we take, because I have no idea. Um, but uh, I'm open to pretty much whatever. The SYL GLS, GSL, GSL schism. Uh, once a united force, the greater Somalian leagues of Hussein broke off from the much larger, more far dominant Somali Youth League during the early 1930s. Their disgruntled members left, that left to form the GSL were pushed out due to their radical and violent methods, their extremist ideas, and their desire to abandon democratic value ideas. Entirely while the GSL's founding members would discuss that SYL would take foreign funding from jihadists and certain European and North African sources. That's why I'll focus on modern pan Somali nationalism and Islamic democratic republicanism. We're not yield to this extreme platform, and as a result, the two parties have argued and competed to the detriment of each other's success. As they bicker, arist aristocratic and socialist elements have both tried to fill the void, but aside from the traditionalist elements of the clan hierarchy and the various sultans and princes, that's why it remains the dominant political force in Somalia. We'll just see how the rivalry plays out. Um, the attack of rural famines. We must begin to uh, take serious measures to help end famine in Somalia. Our first step will increase the amount of arable land within the empire and begin purchasing foreign grain and foodstuffs. That should be a good thing to do, of course. Civilian industry. Our people are now able to afford new goods, apart from foreign nations, however. 
The cost of importing goods is far too expensive, especially for some luxury items. That would also be in our best interest to begin manufacturing these at home instead of having our assistants purchase them from abroad. Sure, why not? Engines of war. A harsh reality that was coming to terms with the fact that war has drastically changed in the past decade. We can no longer hope to preserve Somalia with outdated equipment utilizing the same tactics and strategies our forefathers had used. Modern equipment and regular drilling and updated planning are all essential for the renewal and survival. Which I should have spent that political power, but whatever. Because we are definitely, definitely, definitely going to need it. And rural famine. We've effectively ended the disaster that was famine. Now hunger is no longer prevalent within Somalia. Within both the rural and urban regions, possessing enough food to feed their people. Our future seems bright. I see Primus Inter Patis. Ooh. Decide the direction of military will take. A united, a unified army or local militias. Choose carefully. United in will. The Somalia Assembly. Local elections. Constitutional reforms. Zia and civil legal rights. Or legal balance. Oh. Huh. Crack down on powerful clans. Remove iron fits of... Ooh. Unity is strength. Formalize kingdom structure. Referendum. Establish a hangash. Kind of like that. That sounds kind of fun. I like both routes. I don't know which one. Um, crack down. What if we did minor lords within small if you had the power to influence your decisions for far too long? Any notions of this facade of a federation must be dispelled for once and for all. You we'll try it. Is strength. Small the United Nation comprised of a single group of people, one or one sovereign. We had a fight a lengthy and arduous battle to secure a future, and we will not let that petty and fighting compromise that. Formalize the kingdom structure. Somalia shall be, for all intents and purposes, a centralized kingdom in which the monarch is, has near absolute control in order to bring about the new reality however, a referendum should take place up and determine the future of the kingdom. Which we're just kinda hanging out here, having a good old time, making sure we have a few more divisions than anything else, and uh getting ready for a potential war against the Ethiopians. Because the Ethiopians, man, they're cool people sometimes, but they uh, sometimes they're not. So, uh schools of war. Oh, research thought would be pretty nice. That is quite a while to get down there, which makes sense, don't get me wrong, but uh Pan Somalia Ethos, that's not bad. Finish government reforms, hey, we'll see. Federal elections, as a formality to acquire liberal dissent, an election shall be held. However, by utilizing the work of propagandists, we can ensure that turnout remains at an absolute minimum. Let's remind the people who had fought, uh, fought alongside Hassan and his brave men, who had cowered and licked the boots of the Italians. Cash crop investment? Hunger still an issue within the Somalia lands, and food reserves are required in order to curb its effects. The best thing we can do is ooh, uh, intensify cash, cash production for some time. We're going to go to partial mobilization. Because I've already grabbed more offensive stuff here, so we should be fine. In the Kingdom of Somalia, maybe? Yes, please. As we'll do this one next. Cash crops. Ah, and we are saving. Uh, Black Monday. But we do get about 1.1 political power every single day, which is pretty nice, honestly. These guys are not bad. These are actually 18 combos. There's nothing else on them, but that's okay. And then these guys have cow uh, camels, so that's kind of cool, too. Um, so we do have that as well. But in the meantime, we're going to go and du duplicate this, and then... There you go. The Kingdom of Somalia. Following recent centralization efforts and slow eradication of McClanus dominions, or dominions, the Bokor and Sultan of Wartangali, Maximund, Maximud Kali Shir, Shire, has proposed a huge leap in the nation's westernization modernization measures. Seeking to formalize his dominance as well as one true sovereign and executive of Somalia over the other myriad sultans, emirs, and other tribal leaders within the dense noble hierarchy of Somalia and her clans of Bokar, would crown himself as the first king of Somalia, supported by a system based on western style monarchies in the Ottomans, drawing from his former ties with both the British and Germans as well as former former oppressors of the Italians and the faltering sick man in Istanbul. The Bokor, our highest sultan, Believe that this move could solidify his own rule and draw Somalia closer to the West, while traditionalists in a circle and lingering class believe that this suggestion would drift us away from our beliefs, faith, history, and unique culture. What should be the future of our monarchy, a truly united and Western style kingdom, or a confederation of lesser sultanates, tribal entities, and cities under High Sultan in Bokor? Long live the king. A confederated sultan. Fuse Western distance with Somali tradition and create a new system. I'll go with that one. Let's see what that one's like. So now we are the Bokorat of Somalia. Nice. Never. I do not think I, I'd wake up today and end up playing Somalia. You know, go figure. Um, infrastructure, last thing you've seen, deals, that's okay. Because we do have the Royal Army down here too, which we'll probably get to do. Eventually. The problem with the Army is it requires more than simply appointing new men to positions. A new mentality is required alongside modernized equipment. The priorities and duties of a modern military force is tough and, in and of itself. Not sure how much that's actually going to help, but whatever. Nice. And yeah, let's come down here. Better elections. Because we are GQ. The magazine GQ. There's also ways to go with uh, uh, paternal autocrats, national populists, even USS or totalists, so we'll see. Um, established uh, Hangash. 
Enemies at er about at every corner. Uh, knives in the dark area strike at the elderly. Fragile, but Koru gave so much of his life selflessly for the people. Jaders will be dealt with. Swiftly and efficiently. Better critical power, resistance, decay speed, resistance, growth speed, damage resistance go down, which is very nice. I do like cash crops. Five is not bad. I won't build any city though, but you know, whatever. As we, we do have some artillery on here as well, even though I would like to go grand battle plan for this campaign, so we'll see. Um, eight days left. And we'll have the referendum, but foreign construction methods. The reformation of many nations is never an easy job. While the task may seem arduous, foreign expertise and skilled personnel will be required for small to be dragged in the age of advancement. A ferment, foreign consumer goods market. The consumer goods industry is severely limited due to low demand locally. By producing cheaper goods and exporting produce to nearby regions, we can ensure our industries will grow at an unprecedented rate. The referendum. The people are ready to approve of our reforms and has confirmed our status as the supreme rulers of Somalia. No the no campaign has shocking, random, and made difficulties, and therefore a win is all but certain. All that is left is to commence the celebrations. Everything is going as predicted. Oh boy. Ascendancy of the Dervish Bogor, solidifying his position as the highest monarch in. Uh, Somalia Bogor, or Sultan Muhammad Ali Shairi, now leads as an undisputed sovereign as the Sultan of Somalia. Deeply motivated by the time of fighting foreign interests in the Dervish conflicts, he's now supported by um, his head of government, the Prime Minister Lesser King Sisman III, Maksamud, along with his cabal of noble lords and clergymen, and as such, Bogor Muhammad Ali Shairi, will defend Somalia from the dangerous influences of clanism, nationalism, and the decadent West as he transforms the de facto tribal federation of Somalia into a truly centralized and modernized absolute sultanate state, or sultanate. Securing the Lysitra's long dominance over once again, this aristocracy and wider entrenched elite of Somalia remains in control of Somalia. All princes, imams, nobles, and less sultans stand united as one in a pseudo party of royalists and aristocratic um, autocrats unified in defense of Islamic traditionalism and Somalian conservatism. An enemy of the pan Somali interest, known for its economic ties to Europe, the aristocracy of Somalia now dictates its future Somalia's its past. Victory of the royalist family. Huh. An allied tribalist ambition. Unfitted Somalian theo monarchism. Somalia proud, pious, and moral. What is this lot? Arabic primacy. Caliph of the Horn. Ooh, that's cool. Weekly war sport, too. Grant the Hangash unmatched reach. Crush the pan Somalian nationalist violence. Wow. The new true Azuran Sultanate. Wow, weekly stability, too. A proud and regal Somalia. That's not bad either. Um, I'm not really sure. Guess we'll go here. Format, format, because of these markets. I do want to go grand battle plan. That sounds like the most fun to me. I want. I usually like spirit firepower, but still. So bush war. It would be bad, maybe going with proper heritage. Cavalry unit design cost goes down. Uh, we'll see though. You get more political power here too, though. Quick improvisation, cavalry attack. I don't know. I kind of want that one. Theater training. Um, logistical focus is not bad either. Um, yeah, I might just go with proper heritage. Yeah, design goes down, which I do like a lot. Huh. Ah, naval stuff. Uh, don't really very much here. I guess I'll go with fleet and being, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, establish a hungash is next, though. So apologize if we're not going the way you want us to. Let me know which part of the past you want to see me play as small. Like, there's Totalist, Nat Pops. There's other democratic routes. Of course, there is the Primus Intipades. So let me know what you think. Um, I don't know. I just randomly chose either one. Didn't really matter to me in the end. Because I know uh, Ethiopia will, or the Abyssinian Empire will go to war with us eventually. Hey, we got 10 divisions. Not bad. Um, so there's that as well. Uh, infantry do definitely need this, though. My god, do they need it. And then, finish government reforms. With well, the future of the nation is not safeguarded. Tomorrow's brighter than ever. Now we must begin to plan for it. Good. Uh, put down the lion. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Foreign production methods. Few military factors within our possession must produce goods at maximum capacity and operate at full efficiency in order to give us a fighting chance against our imperialistic neighbors. Preparing for war. War is coming to Somalia, whether we like it or not. Presuming otherwise is foolish with for envious powers residing within Addis Ababa. Refuse to acknowledge the loss of Ogden, a region where they never truly ruled over. Our preparations and planning must be extensive, swift, and efficient. 
for the infrastructure investments. Connecting Somalia from Barwaga to Zelia, to the usage of railways and roads, it's of utmost importance. Our produce, our people, and our armies can no longer rely on dirt roads for transportation. Official Osmania usage. Kusman Yusuf Kinadid, the Sultan of Obyo, as well as our man who designed a new script for the Somali language. While his alphabet has received widespread acclaim and is used within various universities, academi acad academias, or acad academies, and other institutes, it has not been used within daily Somali life, which will endorse and expand upon it to adopt the official script of the Somali language. Higher ed higher expand higher education or learning funding. Higher education within Somalia is still lacking, and if our nations are being taken seriously among the global academia, we must be begin heavy investments. The opening of more universities outside of Mogadishu, the education and re-education of militia officers, and the guarantee of every region within the nation possessing a higher learning institution. Licensing deals. Uh, we can require the help of foreign experts, the foreign equipment, and foreign tactics if our military is to punch above its weight and meet the demanding recruits of modern war. Refit ports. In our past, our ports have been insufficient for both our imports and exports, but with our increased agricultural and industrial output, the pressure for public investment for the expansion and creation of new ports is now increasing, especially among our Hassan in history books. Mohammed Abdullah Hassan, or as he knows abroad, the Madmula, was one of those who successfully defeated the British and Italian imperialists during the Valkyrie and secured Somali sovereignty and freedom for generations to come. But Hassan is himself possessed. An aversion for personal representation was to iconoclasts who believed that photos would steal and trap his soul. The fact of the matter is, we do not possess the information needed to properly portray him, bar second hand accounts. How all shall our history books portray him? Carefully, we want to steal the soul of such a great man. As of course, we're continuing with our focuses here, but the Red Flood, if you'd like to read about Red Flood, please go right ahead. Um, Refit Ports, which we read earlier, and Restate Fund and National Revival. Our nation has had a glorious past and ahead of it has an even greater future. By sponsoring brilliant personalities and teachers who acknowledge this fact, and working hard to make sure our national pride is always high, we can truly make every citizen within our empire proud to be a Somalian. It's kind of weird to say, but you know, whatever. Pan-Somali ethos. Pan-Somali ideas have long flourished within the certain circles of certain intellectuals and military officers living within our young nation. Um, it is clear that the time to act <clears throat> uh, is near. We should unite every Somali under a banner and schools of war. War is often uh, a sporadic event, which means we must plan and prepare for every single scenario. While generals receive constant tweaks and updates to the battle plans, we must so muster engineers and planners who can help us best ready ourselves for any oncoming war. Put down the line. There are a few p things more pitiful than old sickly lion. Once a powerful empire, I harbor the faithful in the hour of need. Abyssinia is now a little more than an amalgamation of scheming dukes who play dress up and impersonate German officers. It's high time we put this grand empire to rest. Educational success. Our new curriculum has gained surprise amount of traction with thousands of children learning the alphabet set forth by the government, of course. <clears throat> The Osmania script will surely impact Somalia for the better and help popularize our rule. Every poet began with a single word. Now, we're going to keep going through all this stuff. It's going to take a while. We read about the Royal Army. Um, between the seas? Somalia stands as a crucial point in its history and strategic location cannot be brushed aside if we manage. To build up and organize a powerful navy and proper air force, we may find ourselves in control of the world's busiest shipping lanes. And then we're going to annihilate tribalist ambition. The major clans and tribes of Somalia have long been a pain in our side, halting the ambitions of any noble seeking to rise too far above the rest. Um, and refusing to ever see any of their long-held powers and privileges. In order for the Bogor to effectively and totally rule this new Somalia, the powers of these powerful clans must be curtailed. We'll work to massively limit the powers so that our own ambitions can come to fruition without obstacles, and we'll get the event a capital in all but name. Uh, law and order is dictated by Allah. Keeping our piety in mind, we move to further enforce Sharia, utilizing a legal and jurist judicial code based upon Muslim morals and doctrine, of course. The Quran and Hadith shall become binding legal, co uh, legal codices, codex, and the new Somalia shall be forged into a noble and state paradise of law and order without failing to decadence, hedonism, or other Western ills. Which is all right. It's like something does do better. Um, the military factor is pretty nuts. Unfitted to Somalian theo monarchism. Max factors in the state. There's a little bit of stability. That's all right with us. As we do have a couple things here. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for the war to really fire. Like, gosh, I've captured subversive elements. Oh boy. It would appear to be that unwise, it would be unwise to share more details, my lord, but Basafas said these terrorists were planning to ruin Somalia from within. Um, and sell its fortunes to foreign invaders, of course. Don't worry, however, the threat has been dealt with. Oh boy, excellent. Yeah, we're done with that part of that path, and you know what happens? We're trying to build this area up here, because this will be very good area to defend in. Very, very good. Look at the political power. Oh my goodness. Arms. Uh, artillery wouldn't be bad. Infantry equipment. Soft attack. I like the soft attack. Hurt me a little soft. Capital all but name, my friends. Uh, read the ports. Because we go through here, get all this stuff done, get these two done, and then law is ordered, dictated by Allah, of course. Unfettered Somalian 
theo monarchism. Saying Zion Mesh sovereignty and Sultan or Bogor. Uh, the Somali monarchy as the leader of the dominant war Sangali clan and is the highest spiritual figure in the nation, Bogor Muhammad Ali Shari, is Somalia's link between Yana and Earth. With these powerful powers and titles as he stands the most powerful man in Somalia, for his word is law above others' decrees, save for the word Allah, word of Allah itself. As a beacon of Islamic faith and Somali national pride and transition or tradition in the nation, the Bogor must be protected and obeyed at all times, and returning must shall deliver us to paradise. A capital of a name, despite her capital being Mogadishu, most of the actual decisions are made in Laskori, birthplace of the Bokor, and the seat of power uh, for the Warsan Gali clan, where the region reforms. Uh, the Bokor has suggested sidelines some other aristocracy and formally moving the capital of Laskori. Make the move, the Squabbling clan shall know the true ruler. Well, where are we? Put it on autocrats? We are put it on autocrats. Can I rescue it? The capital stays? I do want more stability. Stability would be nice. Uh, where is that? What if they get naval invaded? And again, I guess we're down here too. You know what? Let's, I want to move it. I kind of want to move it. I want more stability. I want to move it. Just because we can't. Or... Find out, of course. Oh. Well. Whatever. Grand battle plan? Sure. Why not? Refit the ports and why not? Unity breeds strength. Strength breeds prosperity. Unity and... Uh, a united Somalia is needed to form a strong Somalia. And a strong Somalia is needed to build a prosperous... Paradise for a nation. Okay, America. Most of you know the peoples of the Horn were not with dangerous pan Somali thought, but with a shared Islamic faith and a shared Somali culture, creating a united populace and strike stronger than steel, forged with faith and ready to bring people to Jana. But, you know, this is going to be kind of a short episode. I think we're going to leave it there and see what happens. We'll keep going through everything that we've done so far, of course, but, uh, yeah, we'll kind of go see what happens in the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow. As we we'll continue on with uh, the Bukkaret of Somalia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.